Here we're going to learn how to make the graph for lab two. So, and I opened up my Excel. I'll type in uh, current values here in milliamps. And then I'll type in my voltage values here. Let me, I'll just make this wider so it makes it look better. Okay, so the current for the first one uh, was 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 while the voltage was 0, 2 volts, 4 volts, 6 volts, 8 volts, and 10 volts. So now what I'm going to do is up here you have the chart wizard. I'll click on that and get started with my graph. I'll choose a line graph up here. I'll click on this one. This one shows the points so if you want that one you can choose that one but I'll pick the straight line here without the points. Now, right here you'll notice there was this data range. Excel automatically puts a data range in there for you. I usually like to just uh, clear that out by hitting the backspace on my keyboard because sometimes they pick the wrong things that I don't want. So I need to do one line. If I wanted to do two lines on one graph, I would do two series. So I only want to do one line on my graph. I'm going to have current on one axis and voltage on the other. So current axes according to the lab book they want that on the y axis the y axis is under the values column right here the values range so I just click on that little red tab there and I go to my current and I just drag and highlight once I have that in there I click on that little red dot again and that puts my current on my y axis now I click on this little red dot over here to get my x and I click and drag that and click on that again. So the only way you know that this is X is it says category X axes. That belongs in the X. The values here is the Y. I, I don't know why it doesn't say Y but it, that, that's the Y axis numbers. Okay and then uh, you can see how it says series over there. You can label this uh, current and voltage Okay, and then you go click next. Here you can label your X. My X was voltage and my Y was current for this lab. And then I click next again and I'll save it as an object in the sheet. That way it'll be easy for me to copy it. So I'll just say finish and here it plops it whoops, right in there. So it's already highlighted. If it wasn't highlighted it looks like this without those black dots there. So just click on it, right click, and do a copy. I have my lab waiting over here on step 8. Here's the graph right here. So I'll just highlight this and press my delete key on my keyboard. That'll get rid of it. And then I'll go up here and go edit, paste. And there it is. It plops right in there. And then if you need to do another one, because it says you have to do the other one. Uh, just do the same thing. Okay, you can watch this again if you need to.